I'm Bridget McCormack. I'm the Executive Director for Audubon California. I grew up in California, actually Folsom, California, um, and I have learned uh, to appreciate and love birds through my dad. Uh, my first exposure to birds was my dad ripping me out of my tent in Lake Tahoe at probably 6 a.m. Uh, saying I had to come see something really, really exciting. Um, and lo and behold, he introduced me to my first bird, the pileated woodpecker. So from the pileated woodpecker, my dad and I became amateur birders. And one of the first birds that we uh, identified and agreed on together was the long-billed curlew, um, which is uh, very prevalent in the Central Valley, as you may know. And it's always been a connection point for my dad and I. Uh, moreover, it has become important, more important to me now as I'm a mom and I've been teaching my son how to identify the long-billed curlews that live on the beach, ocean beach, where we live. One of the harder parts of my job for me is knowing the challenges that birds face and in the case of the long-billed curlew, I know that it's lost most of its habitat over the last hundred years and this year in particular, in addition to that lost habitat, it's facing really tough conditions with the drought all over the Central Valley. I'm really proud of the work that Audubon California, its staff and its partners have done to help protect the long-billed curlew. We've worked with our agency partners and our farmers who are heroes in my mind to help build surrogate habitat for the long-billed curlew since it's lost so much of its original habitat in places like rice fields. Moreover, we fought really hard on the policy angle to try to ensure that these birds have the water that they need in the refuges that are dotted all over California. When I saw the long-billed curlew on the list of endangered birds from global warming, it really hit me. Um, this is the bird that provides the link between my dad and my childhood and me and my son. And one day my dad's not going to be around. And if that bird's not around, then I lose my link to my dad. And then one day I'm not going to be around. And if that bird's not around, my son loses my link to me. When I look at the research that Audubon has done on the threat to birds for global warming, I don't see it as some sort of death sentence. For me, um, and hopefully for the rest of our organization, it's one, a wake-up call, and two, a call to action. Our goal here at Audubon California is to ensure that birds thrive regardless of the conditions of the future, and that's what we're committed and dedicated to doing. It's going to take a lot of work for this to happen. Um, Audubon California is going to focus on a few things that we think will really help birds. We're going to identify and protect the birds that are at most danger from global warming, and we're going to protect their habitats. And we're going to push hard on the policy front here in California and federally. So the most important question here is what do we need the most? What do the birds need the most? And the birds need you. The birds need you to raise your voice and demand that action is taken on climate change to save the birds that we love the most, from the long-billed curlew to whatever is your favorite bird. <laughs>